Well, it's Monday morning and we're in Simpsonville, South Carolina, and this is an experiment. We're trying an outside video. I'm sitting on the little patio outside of our condominium, and uh, you can see some of the condo complex behind me uh, over the top of the little wall around our patio. Uh, today we're continuing Mark chapter 5, verse 25, and uh, we had an interesting interruption, if you will, from last week when we had uh, the appeal of Jairus for the uh, healing of his daughter who was already dead and uh, now we have this interruption as he's heading to Jairus's house uh, there is a huge crowd following him of course everybody wants to be healed who doesn't want to be healed of their problems the story is also found in Luke chapter 8 verse 43 and Matthew chapter 9 verse 20 however I would quickly tell you if you were looking at Matthew chapter 9 you'd be very dissatisfied with the amount of detail that is given there uh, in that particular account and uh, probably not much happier with uh, the Luke account in Luke 8:43 and following. In any case we find that there is a woman in the crowd who has had an issue of blood uh, for 12 years and uh, as we look at the account in Mark we find out uh, that she has faith and belief that if she could just touch Jesus garment now why not confront Jesus headlong well you know the Jews were pretty strong about touching anybody with an issue of blood or any blood and so she was in honor of uh, respecting those kind of beliefs she thought if she could just touch the fringe of his garment just touch the outer part of his garment and it says that when she did after having been treated by and many many doctors and endured much now you can only read between the lines what that means but doctors had evidently tried some pretty radical things to try to stop this issue of blood it said she had suffered much at the hands of many doctors and she had spent all the money she had trying to find help as a matter of fact this is probably a good example of what Romans says about when we are helpless when we're helpless at the right time Jesus comes with her belief she comes and she comes to Jesus she touched his garment and immediately she had the feeling that she had been healed and Jesus knew it says in verse 30 that she uh, had touched him and that she was healed uh, she he turned and uh, asked his disciples who touched him of course he already knew but uh, rather than run and uh, uh, not let people know she actually confessed that it was her that touched him and uh, he says your faith has made you well now let me quickly say that it's not a question of enough faith for healing uh, that Jesus said if you have the faith of a mustard seed you can have whatever you need uh, so it wasn't the amount of this lady's faith it was her absolute trust and belief that Jesus could heal her uh, and not everyone is healed. When Jesus left this earth, there were hundreds of thousands of people that were still lame, blind, and sick in different ways, and yet he said it is finished, because what he came to do was to die for our sins. So here it's very important for you to realize uh, that it's not everyone that's going to be f healed by faith, and not faith that is the missing element when you're not healed, uh, but rather Jesus can if he will and the ultimate test is that we realize that temporal healing is not as important as eternal healing through salvation nevertheless if you were to look at Luke chapter 8 and you would find that in verse 47 it says she declared she witnessed there was a great mode of people around Jesus and she was telling her testimony Jesus touched me he made me whole again and that's exactly what we're supposed to do when we realize that we've been saved and we were helpless in our sin. We need to witness and tell everybody that we've been touched by Jesus and we've been made whole. That's your thought for the day. I'm going to get, take this video recording inside and see how it came out in this bright light. I hope that my squinting didn't bother you too much. God bless you and have a great day.